where every point on a map is a new place to explore. Here's your look at the brand new Hasbro Indiana Jones, The Worlds of Adventure, Indiana Jones with Horse. Gallop into heart-stopping action with the Indiana Jones World of Adventure Indiana Jones with Horse 2-Pack. This 2.5-inch scale Indiana Jones action figure features fully posable arms, legs, and head, as well as design and detail inspired by the Indiana Jones Entertainment. Kids ages 4 and up will love recreating favorite Indiana Jones moments with this Indiana Jones gift set, featuring snake, holy grail, satchel, and whip accessories, as well as repositional saddlebag. If adventure has a name, it must be Indiana Jones. Before we get galloping into this review, I'd like to first thank the folks over at Hasbro that did provide this sample of the brand new Indiana Jones Worlds of Adventure, Indiana Jones with Horse, and we can have a look at this review. We're going to measure off Indiana, just in case you're curious as to how tall or tiny he is. And in this case, Indiana Jones is only about two and a half inches in height, or the figure is going to be about six and a half centimeters tall. <laughs> To come include with Dr. Jones and Horse, you do get yourself the travel pack that contains inside the Cup of Christ. You also get yourself a little satchel bag, a whip, and a snake. Why did it have to be snakes? First thing we'll have a look at, in fact, is actually the Cup of Christ. The actual goblet, as you can see, crude in fashion, always choose the one that's the crudest. Of course, when we know in the movie, if you grab the wrong one that looks like it's adorned in jewels, we all know what ends up happening. But you want to take the more simplest, simpler looking goblet. It's all molded here in what looks to be gold plastic. It uh, doesn't necessarily fit, unfortunately, in Indiana Jones's hands. His hands, again, are just way too small to accommodate that. I suppose you could probably pry the fingers away and be able to fit that in there. But you really are stretching the plastic whatever you, whenever times you do that. Especially with the thumb. The thumb always is something that's going to be getting in the way. It does, for all intents and purposes, I suppose, fit into his hand. But it does bend the thumb in the process. The hands are actually really more better suited for holding the whip. Now you may think to yourself, then where's the Cup of Christ going to go? Well, actually, you do get yourself this cool little travel pack. The pack itself has been colored here in sort of a Werther's original brown color, brownish orange. It does actually have a little peg here on the back that fits on the back of Indiana Jones or can actually travel pack onto the back of the horse's saddle. Simply just open this up, then you can take yourself the little cup and fit that inside and close it off. And then again, you've got a nice little storage for it. So you can take yourself your Indiana Jones. You can flip the figure around and then locate it on the back. Man, that would be a hard thing to carry around. Look at the size of this. I thought carrying around school bags when I was growing up, going to public school was difficult. You imagine carrying around a bag this size, especially when the fact it's plugged right into the back of your body. Ouch. But there is also a secondary place. You can take yourself the horse and locate it on the back of the horse. There's actually two holes on the back. Simply just attach then the travel bag. You can either display it like this. I think that probably the better way is to have it displayed like this. And it also doesn't look like it's being plugged right into this, the skin of the horse. Ouch, indeed. So there's a one place. There's actually two places, in fact, that you can store the travel pack. The figure also comes included with a tiny little satchel bag. The bag itself, again, looks like it's been molded here in probably like a gray plastic. It's not hollow, which is good, but it sort of has a concave back to it. This does fit over top of Indiana Jones's body. It's a little harder to, of course, get it around his head. So you can at least take Indiana and pop him off the ball joint, just like that. Then take the bag, fit this, well, bring his arm up just a little bit, fit it around his head like that. And then where was his head will be his head again. We'll just pop the head back in place. And he's got a little place to store the travel satchel bag on the side of his body. Uh, the figure also, like I said, does come included with, just before we look at the whip, comes included with a tiny little snake. Snake looks good for what it is. Snake looks like it's leering itself, ready to strike, snap, bite. Hopefully it's not venomous. It's a cool looking snake. I mean, there really isn't any place to actually store this when you've got Indiana Jones on display with the horse. I guess you could put it in front of the horse, but that would likely spook the horse, and then poor Indy will take a tumble. The figure also comes included with a whip. The whip is, again, made of softer plastic. It has a little bit of give to it, and this can, of course, hold in his hands. Holds a lot better, I honestly will say, than the goblet. We're just going to go ahead and put that into his hand, and again, Indiana Jones now has his trademark whip. Whitch, whitch, whitch. Sorry, I had to do that. Uh, then, of course, you've got yourself as a secondary accessory, or I guess a co-traveler. you got yourself as well the horse. Now, I will say, though, the horse is one thing that kind of has me a little perplexed. 
not the fact that Indiana Jones has a horse, but the color that they chose to give for the horse. I think both in Last Crusade, the two times that we see Indiana Jones riding around on a horse is one when he's trying to actually get into the tank, and that's when he's riding around, I think, on a black horse. The end of the movie, I think he's actually riding on a, on a dark brown horse. I don't think at ever a time in the movie he's actually riding around in what almost is kind of like a, I guess, a light beige or a light white colored horse. You can see the tail on the back is a little more lighter brown. He's got some brown there on the top of his mane. But I'm not really sure why they chose this specific horse when I feel like black and brown would have been the obvious choices first, especially at the time of this movie. Now, again, the horse does also have some posability, so you can move the head up and down by neck. That's all basically as much as you can really do with it. You can also move the legs back and forth also as well. This This one leg... Let me just tell you about this one leg. This one leg is the tightest of all four. Yeah, I had a hard time to move that back and forth. This one always looks like it's going to be in a prancing formation as well, because this one leg is always going to be bent. And again, the back legs also hinge back and forth. Mileage may then vary with how well the horse stands, depending on how much you end up moving those legs. Sometimes it actually ends up leaning to the side, so you sort of have to put the horse down and then just sort of move its legs around until you get the desired look that you want. Back to Indiana Jones, though, getting a closer look at the head sculpt here. For a simpler, more kid-friendly Indiana Jones, I think it fits the bill properly. Of course, there's always the ARC build series that we are going to be looking at in the reviews, upcoming reviews. Those are, of course, geared a little bit more towards adult collectors, but these Indiana Jones are really good for the kids to be picking up and playing. The fedora on the top of his head is not removable. Uh, he does have some decent articulation, though, in his head. Actually, I was really really surprised with how much posability this guy actually does manage to pack. He is, has his jacket, of course, on, shirt and tie in this case. And he does have, again, like all the colors you'd expect to see in Indiana Jones, just short of the fact he does have a big hole on the back of his body. Articulation for Indiana Jones, the head is on a ball joint, so you can move it back and forth. You can move it up, you can move it down, and again, all the things in between. The arms do come out. They're on hinge joints. Just be careful because the pegs are really, really small. You can't take the arms and rotate them all the way around. And the hands also do swivel back and forth. That While there is no waist swivel on this Indiana, you can at least move his feet back and forth. And while doing it, you may also notice that not only is his feet really large, but Indiana Jones also packs some peg holes on the undersides of his boots, even though the figure doesn't technically come in clear with a display stand. Then, of course, for the final looks of this, you can go ahead and then take Indiana Jones, saddle him on top of the horse, and then you can bring up, again, the little string there on the front of the horse, the back of the horse there and just attach it on Indiana Jones's hands. You could really have him holding onto the horse with just one hand, and then go ahead and take the whip then, just turn the hand around, and I'm actually having him with the whip, not getting it stuck there, in the, I think it's the bridle. Somebody let me, know now, let me know down below in the comment section. But then you can go ahead and take the whip and put it in Indiana Jones's hands. You got yourself a little fun figure to be putting on display. I mean, again, like for this line, it's definitely more geared, I think, towards kids than it is to the out collectors. But one thing I'm really liking about the Indiana Jones line that has was done across the board is that they've made Indiana Jones friendly for kids, which again, you've got these ones right here for the Worlds of Adventure series. But then you've also got the Artifact series, which again, we are going to be building in the next series reviews as well. Those, of course, are figures a little bit more geared, I feel, towards the adult collectors instead careful indiana that snake looks like it's about to spook your horse the horse is the only thing of course that does have me a little bit questioning this set why they chose this color of horse my guess is probably because indiana jones is wearing a dark colored jacket and he's wearing dark colored pants the idea of then giving him something that's similar in color you know again a brown horse or a black horse that's probably one of the reasons why they decided to go with a lighter colored horse but it really if he is getting the holy grail and all I think the only two times he's actually riding a horse is both black and brown. So why they chose this horse still, again, is a bit strange. But I like the look of this set. It's fun. It's a little, obviously a little more of a simpler looking set for those younger fans of Indiana Jones. My daughter actually, in fact, kind of watched a little bit of Indiana Jones the other night and seemed to have a good time watching it. I don't know if it's going to be a little too scary to show her something like Temple of Doom. But we were like in the middle of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and... It wasn't any of the scary parts, don't worry. But she seemed to be having a good time watching it. But yeah, I like this set because this is a set that younger players can actually pick up and play with. Indiana Jones is pretty poseable for his size. He does have some pretty fun little accessories. And the fact he does actually have a Holy Grail and a travel pack to store the Holy Grail, I think is a fun touch on Hasbro's part. Once again, a big thank you to the folks over at Hasbro that did provide the sample of the brand new Indiana Jones Worlds of Adventure, Indiana Jones with Horse. What do you guys think of this set? Let me know down below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, I want to hit with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing and on board to see some more Indiana Jones, rest assured, we will be looking at a whole ton of new Indiana Jones toys. But make sure, of course, you're hitting that subscribe button down below. Making sure, of course, of course, of course, that you're also turning on the bell notification so you're always going to get reminders whenever new videos are posting. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.